Hello there. Welcome to part seven session of this end-to-end -end implementation of WordPress site setup with Amazon services. So far, we have completed six sessions from creating the WordPress instance to creating the CloudFront distribution and put our media contents in S3. And we did the end-to-end -end testing as well. Now in this part seven session, I will show you how to add load balancer for your website, which I have just created. As you know that this is our WordPress instance running in Amazon light cell. Okay. And we have already created our uh, CloudFront distributions and uh, added the SSL certificates and all these things. Now what do we want to do? We want to create a load balancer over here. Okay, so once you uh, come to this network uh, tab, you find that we created one static IP that is showing over here and create load balancer. Okay, so once I click on the load balancer, it shows that, okay, it's asked that what is the region I want. Definitely my instance, S3 bucket, everything is in US East. So I want in uh, Virginia, all zones. US is to one, okay? And it asks for identify your load balancer. So you have to just add one but unique name over here and key value pair you just add and click on create load balancer. Now see this load balancer will cost, okay? So in this tutorial, my focus was that to educate you as well as you help you to understand how can you launch a WordPress website using AWS resources with cheaper hosting cost. Definitely it is a big cost for someone who is launching a low cost website for personal use only. If you are using uh, launching a personal website, I will not recommend. And if that personal website, if website is not that critical, I will not recommend you to create the load balancer because why load balancer is required? If you have a huge traffic to your website and you need your uh, multiple instances of WordPress website to support that, then your traffic will come to your load balancer first and load balancer will balance the load to your multiple instances. Currently, let me show you if I go to uh, route 53, what it works that when you uh, when your traffic comes to your domain which is brandandmarket.com and it goes to the goes directly to this static ip it is nothing but the instance it is running okay but when you create the load balancer okay your traffic will go directly to the load balancer so that time after creating load balancer you will edit this record and your you make it a C name because it routes traffic to another domain service. Okay. And once you create this row, uh, this name and uh, select this as alias, it will show you the list of services or uh, the load balancer. You see this application and classic load balancer. You will get the option of uh, selectable option over here, the load balancer you have created. But in our case, we are not using the load balancer because of this $18 per month. It is a huge cost. Okay, but I have showed you the way if you want to add a load balancer, this is the way. Let me show one more thing as well. Let's go back uh, here. If you see that under networking, you get few other options as well. Create static IP we have already created. Create DNS zone. Okay, you could have created the DNS zone from here. We have created the DNS zone separately in route 53, but this service also helps you to uh, create or manage the DNS zone from here. Next one is that the uh, create distribution. We have created the cloud from distribution separately under cloud front. You could have created the uh, distribution from here as well. So in this page, you select the origin. Means you are selecting this AW, uh, this WordPress instance as an origin. Okay, use the WordPress cache behavior preset. Yes, use. Okay, so 
it it has selected your static IP and the instance it is following. Your distribution pulls content from your all agent using HTTP only. Okay. Now caching behavior based for uh, WordPress it has selected. Now see this uh, pricing or uh, uh, plan for distribution, which is fifty GB per month first year free, and after that it will cost you uh, two dollar fifty cents per month. Okay. And um, we, you have the ten dollar per month and thirty five dollar per month uh, accordingly. Okay. And the free for first twelve months for distribution uses. And after that, it will cost you two dollar fifty cents per month for fifty GB of data transfer per month. So so far, in this complete end-to-end -end implementation sessions, we have learned that how we can use Amazon Light Self mainly to host our WordPress website, and how we can configure our WordPress site to upload our media contents in Amazon S3 and create the cloud from distribution to fetch the media content from there to make our WordPress website much faster. Thank you for attending this session. If you have any query, please write in the comment box. And if you are new to our AWS Tech Guide program, please don't miss to check our AWS uh, YouTube channel for the hands-on tutorials with AWS various services. Also, please check our website, which is awstechguide.com and check how, what are the projects we work on. These are the uh, open source projects and the sponsors projects also. If you want to share your knowledge, definitely you can join us. You can click and check us the join us page and you see that how you can join. We have uh, various upcoming sessions as well. and. If you want the ready-made code and the scripts, we have our public repository for AWS Tech Guide in GitHub. And you can see that the script, it contains lot of script, ready-made work, working script. One more thing is that if you are interested in AWS CI-CD automation for AWS CI-CD automation, complete reference for production ready systems. And you will find that how to use code commit how to create code artifactory, uh, how to create artifactory, ECS cluster, EKS lab, ECS rolling update, ECS blue green deployment in production system, uh, code build to build Docker image and push to ECR, create repository to store Docker image and all these things over here. So I will share this um, Udemy course link in the video description. Thank you again for attending this session. See you in our next session. Bye-bye. Thank you.